Hey everyone, it's Earth Collectors here. We're opening up two blaster boxes of the new 2018 Panini Prism Football. These are, of course, retail exclusives where you get 24 uh, cards in a box. You get six packs, four cards per pack. They have either a autograph or a memorabilia card in each one of the boxes. And they have three exclusive laser prisms per box, on average, of course. Yeah, so these usually are pretty good. Yeah, we've had Always good success the with them. Years, at least, yep. so. It's very hard to hit an auto. Um, and the relics usually don't sell well, but we've done well with parallels and uh, rookie cards, all that sort of stuff out of here. So, Yeah, so this is the first Prism Retail that we've opened this year. Usually we have a lot of fun with this stuff. So, Yeah, see. obviously when the hobby boxes are going for $200 a box, $20 for a blaster is very affordable. Jamon Moore rookie, yeah. So, should be interesting. There's not, you can't get numbered parallels or stuff, just the, these, oh, those look cool. Oh, yeah, those like are cool looking, laser. yeah, yeah. Derek Cohen, those are nice. Tori Smith. This is like from World Cup when they did the lasers. Yeah, yeah, the lasers, yep. And I think Optic Basketball. They're not numbered, are they? No. I'll check the back just to make sure. No, they're not numbered. Okay. Never <laughs> have been numbered. Before. No, they never have. They never have. Because they usually make quite a few of them, so. Yep. We got Jade Von Clowney and a Terry Bradshaw Hall of Fame. Dante Pettis rookie and a Jamal Adams. Yeah, I, I wonder if you can get the silver prisms in these, or if that's a. I wonder if it's a possibility. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so if that's the case, then that those silver prisms are even go up in value even more. Fred Warner, blue rookie laser. Yeah, I think they those are hobby exclusive this year, but. It, doesn't look just his base prism laser that's all it says okay so, this should be our last laser here miles garrett and a cameron hayward so lasers were not very good no um, we got one rookie but not a big name I mean, but but it's uh, if it's all right. the cards it's a 300 oh, yeah, it's card 300, set 300 so cards, exactly. now this should be a relic or delaney autograph card. yep so we got delaney walker whoops and a trey quinn that one, flip it over, and premier jerseys. Kalen Blage, actually a pretty cool looking card. Pretty yeah, it pretty is. Shiny, pretty clean looking. They added the color to the side, which yeah. is I don't remember them doing that in the past. And you know, it's just a event worn piece, I'm sure. And a surface issue on the card. Though. Yeah, there's a little bit of a little bit of grime on the surface there. So there's that, and then the Alan Hearns base. So not too bad. So it's very different this it's year already, uh, with Prism because of the... What's that? It doesn't matter. Never mind. I already... Oh, you already yeah. cut it? Oh, okay. It's very different this year with Prism because of the fact that last year every rookie was a silver Prism. This year, in the hobby boxes, you get one silver Prism on average per, per box. Some, are, some have had more, though. Yeah, some have had more, but... Uh, the I bet you a laser Prism of a Barkley or a Darnold would sell yeah, pretty well. A card, yeah. Yep. I mean, they're really sharp cards, so the the lasers. So here's Aaron Rodgers, Jabril Peppers, and then there's a rookie card of Mike Gusecki. Now this is going to say, if it if it is a, a prism, silver prism, it says prism right I up mean, there. I mean, you can't pull it in retail. So. Right, you can't pull it in retail, but just to show you where to look. Kyle Rudolph, if you have a question, look there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and you can't get all the colored, other colored. Uh, there's no possibility to get. Oh, this is the. Seven. That looks like it's already the pack. Yeah, that's where mine was too. Oh, it was in the second pack. Yeah. Okay. We'll save the relic till the end. All right, Eddie Jackson, Lamar Miller, and then a Sean Lee, and then Carson Wentz. So yeah, they're really sharp looking though. Yeah, so these we bought off of eBay, and I think they are around. We got like them for seventeen dollars each. So, not bad. Oh, that's oh, cool. Nice. Sony Michelle. Instant. But these are really sharp cards. I love those. Instant, yeah. yeah. And then a Kyle Oletta rookie card and a Samaj P. Ryan. So, you can still obviously pull the base rookies. And the Saquons, I think right now, are selling for around 10 bucks a, a card. And, you know, they're still very collectible because people love to grade these. Okay, so there's a rookie card. Not the right rookie, obviously. I'm guessing you can get one rookie a box. That's yeah, so sharp-looking card. Uh, too bad it's not the right rookie, but 
even so. That's a good way to build your, you know, if you're trying to build a base set or a team set. Sometimes retail is different cards than hobby. As weird as that sounds, sometimes like you can get different different stuff sometimes it seems like out of retail. Meaning like the, like the cards like how they Jeremy uh, Hill. How the like collation you, yeah, is how, or how something? The collation, that's what I meant. Yeah. yeah. So like sometimes like if you open like two boxes of hobby from the same case, you'll get a bunch of doubles. Right, right, and if right. If you buy some retail, you might get some different cards. Yeah, it seems to be the case in a lot of products where you get um, different stuff out of retail. And then we have our last pack here. Um, you get the same uh, checklist, but the way they package out the cards does seem to be a little bit different. I, I would agree. All right, so... A Justin uh, Watson, and then this Leonard Fournette is gonna take us to. Uh, actually, we'll use blue. Justin to. Oh, you saw blue. I thought, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean, I, yeah, you saw blue. You're thinking it is a Barkley. So uh, they're actually really sharp looking. I like the look of them. Yeah. And I always like these. They they typically don't sell well, but um, they're sharp. They look nice. So you know what I saw? I saw it was the or, other way around. I saw the S. Oh, you saw the S. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. You didn't obviously that you saw the top of the car, not the bottom. Yeah. All right. So there you go. Well, uh, definitely a fun break. Uh, this is, I think, probably going to be one of the first videos out there um, of of Prism. So hopefully this helps you. You know, consider your buying options. It, once we get our hands on some of the cello packs, we'll open those. And if they have any of the retail boxes, those are usually always a lot of fun. Where you get a blue and a red per box, and then usually one fun. autograph. Those are really fun. Those are usually really good. Yeah, those are really a good value. If they come out around sixty to eighty dollars somewhere in there, that that would be a good option. We're just trying to let you uh, consider your options, and hopefully. Um, this would be one of them. I don't know you'll find these right today yet in all of your retail stores. Uh, like I said, we bought this off of eBay. Uh, I, I looked at a retail store, did not have them yet today, but maybe yours does. Let us know in the comments below if you've uh, found these. Also, if you have uh, found any cello packs or any retail boxes, let us know. And let us know what you think of the uh, you know the product. How do you like the the uh, retail version with the laser cards and the relics? Uh, give a thumbs up to the video if you like what you saw. Subscribe to the channel uh, and stay tuned for more football breaks. We'll be breaking more Prism, other football cards when they come out, new products. So stay tuned for those. So thanks for watching. Take care. Have fun collecting, guys. We'll see you soon.